Hello guys, today I want to talk about polymorphic many-to-many -many relationships in Laravel Eloquent. I have an article about it, but decided to shoot a video version as well because I think it's a pretty common scenario, so I want to reach bigger audience, not just those who read my blog on Laravel Daily.com. So anyway, the scenario. It's actually similar to my Laravel Daily.com or any blog. You have posts, videos, and courses, so different type of content, and then you have tags. And here, tag may belong to many posts, and post may have many tags, so it's a many-to-many. -many. But then it's the same many-to-many -many between post and tags, videos and tags, and courses and tags, which makes it a perfect candidate to polymorphic relations. But then polymorphic many-to-many, -many, how does it work? And our goal is to get all the posts, videos, and courses by specific tag. And let's see if we can do something like tag taggables get. Spoiler alert, no, that doesn't work. So the database structure for post is just a simple post table with post title or something, video, same thing, video title. I deliberately added prefix so it would be different fields in the database, and I will show you why in a minute. And then courses, also course title. Let's close the file tree so you would see more on the screen. And then we need to have taggable table, which would look like this. For an ID to the tags, tag is just also simple string of tag and then morphs taggable, which in the database looks like this. So taggables, this is the tag ID, and this is the record, taggable type and taggable ID, which is under morphs here. And then the relationships. In the post, we have tags morph to many with taggable name of the relationship. Same, absolutely the same identical function is in video and in course, so nothing even changed. You can literally copy-paste from one model to another. And in the tags, you cannot create one taggable function. Separately, you need posts, videos, and courses like this, morphed by many. And then what do we have in the controller when you want to request records by tag? Instead of creating that controller and the view and the page and routes, I use my Tinkerwell, which I enjoy using for such small experiments. And this is the code. So you would expect or hope that something like this could work. So you get a tag and you get the taggables. But unfortunately, if we run that, we have call to undefined method of taggables. So taggables would exist on single one-to-many polymorphic, but not on many-to-many. -many. And then another tricky part, as I mentioned previously, the different fields in all those tables. So I deliberately did post title, video title, and course title. That's why you cannot even combine them into one collection like taggables without manually transforming them into some kind of the same structure. So that's why you get the post and then with the collection function of map, you transform them into a strict structure of ID, title, and type, for example. Then you do the same thing with videos, the same thing with courses. This is, as usual, only one way to solve that problem. I will show you my way. Maybe you will suggest a different way in the comments below, by the way. So you have three collections then of posts, videos, and courses, and finally you merge them into one collection to show on the page. With merge function of the collection, and you cannot do, by the way, courses, merge posts, merge videos, because each of those three could be empty, and then it could throw an error. So first you create an empty collection, and then you merge those three. And now if we run that, we have the result of collection by tag ID. We have post of how to use Livewire and then video Livewire versus view. If we try to do the same thing by tag two, I have three tags in my database. Tag two will return a video Livewire versus view, the same video which has two tags, Livewire and view. And then third tag from what I remember was React and React returns the course React for beginners. So this is how you can use many-to-many -many polymorphic relations and combine the results into one collection to show on the page. If you want to learn more about Eloquent relationships and other things related to Eloquent, I have a separate course called Eloquent the Expert Level. With two hours of videos, you can see topic on the right side that includes polymorphic relations with many-to-many -many example, and it's all based on real practical examples. So I encourage you to take that course as a part of Laravel Daily.com membership. So subscribe to yearly or monthly membership and join me on this journey of learning Laravel. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.